YouTube, uh, we're going to predict risk for the independent variables of age, pressure, at blood pressure, and whether or not a person is a smoker. So smoker is a categorical variable, no, 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 etc., etc. We want to see what happens to the risk if the person is a smoker. So you can see that this column here, D, is a categorical. In other words, it's only two uh, values, yes and no. We want to change that to 1 or 0, uh, depending on whether the person is it. So it can be included as a dummy variable in a multivariate regression. Now, I'm using Excel, which is perhaps not the most flexible of software, and it happens that all of the dependent variables have to be grouped together. I want to create a new column of 0 and 1 for smokers. I need to move it over to the right because I'm going to have to copy and paste the other data. So I'm making a new column here called smoker, and then we're going to use the equals if function to change it into a dummy variable. Now, I'm going to, I want to code 1 for yes. So let's pick one where there is a yes. It doesn't, we could make it more complicated, but this is perhaps the most straight. Equals if. Now, we want yes to equal 1. So click on this equals double quotations yes close quotations one comma zero close brackets. So what's this going to happen is that if D5, if the cell of interest is yes, if he's a smoker, we're going to come back with a 1. If he is a non-smoker, it's going to come back with a 0. So press enter. Yes, and it works, doesn't it? So we've got a 0. Now you can move, get on that little corner at the bottom, move it up. Does that work? Yes, a non-smoker is a 0. And then we can paste it or copy it using that thing all the way down. So now we have a new dummy variable that records a 1 if the person is a smoker, a 0 otherwise. Now I need to copy and paste all my, the rest of the data. 1, 2, 3 columns, yes, okay, put it in here. So now I have the risk, that's going to be my uh, dependent variable, and 3 independent variables which will explain how that risk comes about. We want to do a multiple regression, go to data at the top, the ribbon at the top, data analysis, regression. Now our independent variables, our age, pressure and smoker, our y range, so y is the dependent variable, is risk. So copy down risk. Is that correct? E21. Yes, that's right. Now the X range is one whole group of variables. It's all of these, including that new dummy variable. Correct. So F1 top left, H21 bottom right. We have labels. We put in risk gauge, so we want to make sure that uh, labels is checked. Um, I'm going to put the uh, output range right here so that I can see it next to the data. I want to, uh, we're not going to examine them in this um, YouTube, but you should check all these other things, and this will come up later. It's very useful information for residual analysis. Then go OK. And here is our output. Here is the output. So our adjusted R squared is not bad. It's OK at uh, 0.85 rounded. Uh, let's look at the significance of the various uh, predictors here. 
intercept we don't really care about. Age, age has got a very low p-value, certainly below 0 0.05. Uh, pressure also, and so is the dummy for smoker. So our p-values are very good. So therefore, I would say that we could use this as a some type of uh, prediction. So let's write that prediction uh, equation. So predicted risk is going to equal the intercept. So that's minus 91.75 then the age, so the coefficient for age is 1.07, 1 1.0767, and then the pre uh, pressure, coefficient for pressure is 0 0.2518, I'm rounding it up. So, uh, sorry, I haven't I just put in here, uh, I, I need to include age and then pressure, and then the dummy for smoker plus 8.739 da, 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 times the dummy. So what that will mean is that when the person is a smoker that dummy will switch on because the value will be 1 and so it will increase the risk by 8.739. If the person is a non-smoker then that D will be worth zero and so therefore that effect will have gone completely. So we can see that the effect of being a smoker is significant and we could also compare non-smokers to smokers with this result. The dummy part of the variable a very powerful technique and we could also have multiple variables for different uh, perhaps age groups or uh, types of occupation etc. Thank you.